Hi everyone, this is Luxdose, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video guide series. We'll be covering WeCores. All of the most requested features will be covered in each their own video with a step-by-step -step process on how to achieve them. And today we'll start with trinkets. How to track them, how to track if they are equipped, if they procced, uh, if they are affecting your enemy or yourself. We're going to be covering all of that. One of the most uh, requested question that I often get is, please, can you add trinket to your class weak auras? And I feel like class weak auras should stay classes weak auras, right? So uh, I'm not trying to make them become this big UI HUD that will track everything in the game. But instead, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take this um, this opportunity to show you how to build your own weakers and how to track your trinket and how to track a lot more stuff. So today, this is going to be the first tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into it. First thing you will need is to install the add-on Weakora, of course. So go install that. I recommend using the Twitch desktop application, which will allow you to update it and keep track of the latest version. So currently, this is Weakora 2.7.4. You simply uh, type slash WA in chat to open it, and you're ready to go. Okay, so let's pick a trinket. Okay, so right now, I, I equip two random trinkets that have two procs, which we could track. So we're going to go into a step-by-step -step process on how to track both of those, right? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is... Uh, let's create, we could create, let, let's create a dynamic group, right? Let's create a dynamic group. Okay. So we're going to call this group trinkets. Okay. The difference between a dynamic group and a group is that group will have fixed places on everything that you put in it. So you need to have placement on your icons or on your models. You need to place it somewhere on the screen and they won't move unless you tell them to. Dynamic group, though, uh, they will dynamically, well, it says it right there on the tooltip, it will dynamically controls the positioning of its children. So if it has something new, it's it's going to push it, right? So if you have new things you want to add to the group, it, 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 it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow, okay? So since you could have maybe 10 trinkets in your bag and you want to track them all, whether or not they're equipped or not, right? So we're going to make a dynamic group so that the positioning is always right, okay? So let's make a dynamic group, call it Trinket, or whatever the, whatever name you want, right? Uh, and we're going to go in New and create an icon, okay? Before we go any further, okay, I want you to download an add-on outside of Weekorum, another add-on that's going to help you out a lot. It's called ID Tip, okay? Simply go again on the Twitch application and download ID Tip. Make sure you get the latest version, and this is simply going to tell you what is the spell ID you're looking for, right? It's also working on piece of gear. So if I mouse over something, you can see the item ID, um, which is going to be very useful in this case, right? So let's have you download that and get back into World of Warcraft, reopen it, and get week over started again, okay? So we have our new, uh, our new aura that we created to track one of our trinket, okay? Let's drag it in the group. Just simply drag it, and until you get that book with the light, the blue line, it's me. It means that it's it's going to go inside. Okay. Um, let's see if everything is is uh, by default here, right? Okay. So the positioning is all by default, and the main group has position sent by zero zero. So it's, this is relative to to your screen, right? So this is the perfect middle of your monitor right now. Uh, if you want to move something, I recommend moving the group. Don't move the individual aura okay so we'll, we'll make we'll make something you know that pops our trinket maybe right here okay and maybe we want to have it grow so we'll just duplicate this for now just to show you what a dynamic group does so it pushes aura down currently okay if we go into group you can see that we have the uh the the attribute here grow it grows down you can grow left you can grow right. You can do whatever you want, okay? If you want to mimic maybe your trinkets in your inventory slot, then have it grow down or up. Uh, that would be that would be pretty pretty uh, straightforward. You can increase the space between them. You can do anything you want. 
just try to play with those and and see uh and see what settings you like right it's pretty it's pretty easy to uh it's pretty easy to figure it out so you can have a background you can add borders you can do anything you want in here okay so once once that's done and that's configured we're going to go ahead and delete the extra one because we don't need it right now we're going to do a trinket one by one okay first uh do we want the trinket to load outside of combat or not uh do does it matter right um so what we could do is we could for my uh for my for, for me right now i'm not gonna have them load in uh they're gonna load all the time right so outside of combat as well as in combat just for testing purposes okay uh you could have them of course i'm not gonna have them load in pit battle and not when i have a vehicle ui so i need to make sure that these don't hide anything i do that for all of my weak orders right uh this is simply to make sure that they don't override the the ui of those two activities uh i could have those be specific for my characters right so they will not load un unless my player is called Luxtos. Because only Luxtos has those trinkets. But you could make it a global group that, you know, all, all, of, your, uh, all of your characters can use, right? So this is, this is very uh, situational. Do whatever you want. If you want this group to only be for Priest, then select Priest. Uh, you know, do, do whatever you want in here. You can select a lot of configuration. I'm not going to go over those because that's not the, the goal of this, of this tutorial, right? Okay, so let's get tracking. First, we're going to go into trigger, right? And we're going to track if we have the trinket equipped. That's that's uh, that's the first step, okay? So if you mouse over uh, your trinket with the add-on that I told you to install earlier, you're going to see that it has an ID of 1583.74, okay? So we're going to go into the trigger tab, and we're going to go into the trigger type. We're going to select... The drop down here and we're going to go to status okay so there's plenty of different triggers but what we're looking for right now is under status uh in status in here you have item equipped okay so item equipped and then it asks you for an item name an id or a link uh id is always going to be to be the, the best way of doing it okay you can shift click an item uh, i think so uh, it's not working currently but yeah uh we're gonna we're simply going to enter the id right so 15 83 74 okay there you go and it, it automatically detects that this is the item that i'm looking for okay but now it's even though the name is spelled out in here it's it's still an id so it's going to work cross uh uh language uh, client so if you ever uh give this aura to one of your friend that is not using an english client or something it's still going to work okay so okay so now we're tracking that the trinket is equipped uh now let's see what a trinket does so your attack and abilities have a chance to grant uh phenomenal power upon reaching 12 application you will unleash lightning inflicting uh some nature damage okay so this is not really useful to track because it's really passive damage just but just for the sake of this tutorial we're still going to track the stacks because some trinket have a similar mechanic and they, they stack upon reaching a certain amount of stack. And then they give you a big uh, stats boost or something. And you, you, you might need to track that for your, your DPS burst or something. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to take this as an example. What we're going to do is we're going to need to check what is the ID of this bot. Uh, there is two ways of doing it. You could go on WoWed and simply look up what is the buff of the item. Or with the add-on that I just uh, showed you. You can simply go in combat and have this shown right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply type it out. So 267179. 267179. So I'm typing that in, in notepad on the side right. Do the same thing. So simply mouse over and make sure you have the right, the right buff and note the ID. This is going to be very useful when we're going to need to track it. Okay? Because we don't really want to have the the icon show up here right we, we we're mostly interested in seeing uh in seeing this right okay so we're gonna add another trigger and we're gonna track for an aura okay because this is called an aura whether it's a buff or a debuff it's an aura okay we're gonna enter the uh the id we're looking for and you can see that it has the right icon it's a player buff so it's not on the target it's on yourself so it's a player buff okay and uh yeah 
we could do so here is two options you can do always track it uh only track when it is buff or only track when it's missing what i like to do is you can do always for example okay and this is going to so what we're going to do is we're going to push this trigger to number one okay and we're going to show the information only from the dynamic information in trigger one okay so let's let me explain to you what i just did okay dynamic information what is that dynamic information is the information displayed here so the icon uh the duration the stacks all those information are being pushed from the trigger to the display tab uh currently what it was to is that it is from the first active trigger so the first trigger that comes back true for uh this particular aura will send their information to the display tab in this case this one always showed up true uh this one always showed up true because you have it equipped currently so it's just showing the image of your trinket which is not very useful unless that's what you want but i don't really recommend it right so we're we want to track this trigger okay so what we, what we do is we tell the add-on make sure you submit the information of this uh this aura right okay so let's do that now if we go if we go in combat we're gonna see that uh it, it tracks the stack right there at the bottom, right? So we can see the stacks, but it's all it's it's pretty small. Uh, it's it's in the corner. We don't see the duration. Uh, it's always in color, you know. It's not desaturated. There is some more uh, that we could add to it to make it maybe a little more relevant. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check for cooldown. Okay. So we're going to check cooldown and cooldown text. This is going to allow this clock. Uh, to run and be able to 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 let you know how how long this is going for right the th the the text value in here which is uh percent s is the number being shown at the bottom so currently it's showing the stacks uh so that's exactly what we want so that's perfect it's maybe a little small so we could increase it okay we could increase it we could change the color maybe maybe we want it to not be white maybe we want it to be uh, some kind of yellow, right? So we can we can see it better, maybe. Maybe uh, some kind of orangish yellow, right? So it's a little different than the actual number inside of the cooldown, right? Uh, we can change the font. which we, we can change anything. This is all up to you. I'm going to let you play with those and see what fits your, uh, your, your needs, right? So we're simply going to track this for... This is tiny electromental in a jar, right? She's going to name it something relevant, right? Okay. And then what we're going to do is if your stacks are not present. So if this is not found. So if this is not, uh, you don't have any, right? We're going to go, uh, we're going to go in the conditions. Okay. We're going to go in uh, the conditions and we're going to add a new one. So add a condition. And in the first one, in the first drop down, what you're going to see is you're going to see, you're going to see a combination you don't touch those you're gonna see global combination okay global combination are are something we're not gonna worry about right now and you're gonna see your first trigger and your second trigger okay so to remember the first trigger is the aura the number of stacks that you currently have of the lightning buff right and the trigger number two is if your trinket is active okay so we're gonna go in trigger number one and we're gonna go get buffed debuff because if you remember, I'm showing it right now, whether it's buffed or debuffed or whether it's missing or whatever, right? So we're gonna, we need to, we need to let it to always. So it's always showing up. And in the condition, what we're going to do is if it is buffed, false. So if it is not present, then desaturate. It, it, that might be a little uh, complicated if you're new to programming or you're new to weak cores. But what we just did is... We checked for a condition based on this trigger, okay? So this trigger currently is tracking, is it buff or not? I'm tracking both, but I don't care what state it is, it is in. I'll still return true because you ask me to always return true. So I'm always going to be there. But then what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer condition to it and modify the way it looks based on those parameters. So what I'm saying is if it is not buff, if you cannot find any stacks on me desaturate just to let me know that i'm currently not being tracked right so as you can see if i go out of combat well if i go out of weak or sorry uh it will be desaturated it's it's black and white right now 
Let's go in combat and start hitting it. There you go. I, I, I got three stacks right off the bat. It's starting to glow. Uh, so you get that nice blue color letting you know your trinket is currently active. And you can see the duration in the middle. And you can see the stack increasing at the bottom. So as soon as you hit 12, they should bolt off, do some lightning damage, and remove your current stacks, right? At least that's what the trinket says it does. So we're just going to wait. And there you go. It did a lightning zap, and it went off. Currently, that's not really useful. Let's be honest. I don't have a lot of trinket that I can track, so we're going to play with this. But um, this could be uh, this could be anything, right? This could be this could be stats. This could be anything. Okay. If we remove the trinket, the Wikora is gone. Okay. And that's very simply because we asked for it in the trigger to make sure it is equipped. And the required for activation up here is all trigger. If you do any trigger, uh, it, it's going to work also because the first trigger is not going to be able to become true without the trinket, right? But just to be more more uh, standard and, and all, we're going to leave it to all trigger. So all trigger is going to make sure that both of those need to be true in order to load the weak aura, right? So since the trinket is not active, the trinket is not being tracked. We can put it back right there. Let's track my second trinket. Okay, so my second trinket is Gale Caller's Boon. Okay, let's let's track that. That's a pretty cool trinket, but it's it requires some uh, some uh, some tracking because if you're outside of it, you're not gonna do any DPS. So we're gonna do an, a, a new icon, right? Let's do a new icon and let's call it Gale Caller's Boon. There you go. We're gonna push it inside of the trinket group so again you need that blue line with the little book icon make sure it goes right in okay so as you can see they're both there okay uh you can change the order by simply doing that so this one is going to be on top this one is going to be at the bottom depending on how you want to to show it right so let's let's click on gill's uh gill scholar and we're going to check for the id so the id Okay, so let's go back in here and do status, just like we did in the previous one. Item equipped and get ready to enter uh, the item uh, the item ID. So it's 15, 96, 14. Okay, enter. There you go. Gale's Colors Boon. So we're now tracking that the item is properly being tracked, right? Okay. So we can now... So we're going to track two things for this trinket, right? We need to track when it's active and when it's on cooldown okay because you want to see when you can use it again this is a, a little bit of a different a different situation right so we're gonna add a new trigger we're gonna check for a status and we're gonna track for cooldown progress item okay and we're gonna enter the same id that we did in number one so oh, it's not there anymore so we need to type it again just to make sure 15 96 14. Let's copy it just to make sure. There you go. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're not going to show it on cooldown or not on cooldown. We want to show it always. Okay. There you go. And then we'll push this one on top and the number two will be the item equip, right? Just like we did. Same thing. We're going to put the dynamic information to being number one because we want to track the cooldown. So let's call this one Gale's Color Boon cooldown, right? Okay. In the display, we'll check cooldown and cooldown text. We'll just close this to make sure we see it right. It doesn't have any stack, so you can leave it in. But sometimes it causes some issue and there is some stack that are being displayed and stuff. So you can just put a space and it OK. If you don't put a space and do OK, it's going to default back to, to the default. So simply put a space, it OK. And you're not you're going to you're going to make sure you don't have any issue with random numbers showing at the bottom. Sometimes there is stuff bit underneath some layers that blizzard is pushing you know uh some information so if if it does simply know that it's coming from here put a space it okay you'll be good to go okay so gale gale's color boon we're we want to track the cooldown of it okay so we're we're doing pretty good right now uh let's uh let's test it out see what it does right so i currently i currently uh, I'm, I'm just gonna i actually have a let's let's do something Let's put it right there, okay? We're gonna click on it. There you go. So right now it's tracking the cooldown. So it's exactly just like here at the bottom, except that you can see 
uh, it is it is looking a bit different. Okay, so the cooldown is reversed. So instead of being lit up and shadowed, it's the opposite. It's shadow and lit up, right? That's easy to fix. That's pretty easy to fix. We simply get out of combat. We type enter slash WA to open this again. We go into the display and next to cooldown, you do inverse. There you go. This is going to inverse the clocking mechanism, okay? And let's say that you want to do just like my weak order and have it desaturated whenever it is on cooldown. Well, you do that by going into conditions, right? And we do the exact same thing that we did with the other trinket. You click on the if condition here, you drop it down, and you select in the trigger one on cooldown, right? And then you select if it is on cooldown, so if true, just just do the sentence in your head, if if cooldown is true, so if, if it is if it is active, right? Uh, if it is not active, you can you can not use it, right? Then desaturate. It. There you go. So now if I go in, there you go. The eye, the the trinket is is showing up right there. Let's push it a little further. Let's say you want to have it glow whenever it is not on cooldown, just to make sure that you know that you need to use it. Okay. You've seen that on some of my cooldown and on all that stuff. It's pretty easy to do. Add another condition on cooldown equals false. So when it is not on cooldown, I want to glow and make sure you check it. Okay. So checking the box will force glowing. Unchecking it will unglow. So for example, if in display here, you ask it to glow all the time and here you uncheck it while well, it's going to remove that glow under, under those conditions. Okay. So make sure this is not checked and that this one is checked, right? So if I go right there, it, you can see it's glowing. So that means it's working, okay? As soon as I press it, it desaturates and then it's, it starts uh, counting down, okay? So it's going to start counting down and letting you know how many uh, time left there is before it comes back off cooldown. Okay, that's one part of it, right? Now we need to track... Well, I need to know when it is active. I need to know when the buff is on me, right? So that's pretty easy. All we need to do for that is we can duplicate it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to make sure that one replaces the other when uh, when the buff is active. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. And instead of cooldown, we're going to call we're going to call this one active. Okay. And I like to place it on top for some reason. Like active is always first and then comes cooldown. We're going to remove all of those conditions here because we don't really need them. Uh, we're going to go into trigger. Uh, we don't want to track... Or actually, let me think about it. We'll, we'll leave it there like that for now. Let's track Anora, okay? We want to track when the trinket is active. Do you know what we need for that? We need the ID of the aura. So let's go in combat, press it, check the ID. 268311. Let's note it down. 268311. Copy it, go back into World of Warcraft, slash WA. Let's go into Gaylor's Boon Active and track the aura 2683.11, right? Let's track it out. And there you go. You see the right icon, so you know you have the right buff, okay? It's a player buff. It is, so it, it is on the player. It is a buff, okay? And we want it to track only when it's buff, okay? So we want it to only show up when it's buff. Let's put that as the first trigger because this is the most important one. The second one, the cooldown progress, we don't care. So press X, okay? So the only condition on this one are going to be when the aura is active. So that means that you are in the circle that is on the ground. Okay, some trinket on activation are simply going to put a buff on you. So you don't need to stand in the circle. So the active aura or the active buff is always going to be active for the entire duration. But this very specific trinket you need to be in the in the radius. If you go out of the of the radius, you lose the buff. If you go back in, you gain it back. But that doesn't change anything for the weak ores. If your trinket, for example, is the dice one, so the this trinket, Arian's loaded dice, which gives buff that looks and have the same icon type as roll the bone for Altlow, right? But it gives you mastery, ace, and critical strike. You're going to track those the exact same way, okay? So you're going to just enter the ID of every single buff and you're going to be able to show it, right? Okay. So let's track let's track this buff over here, okay? And we're going to do something. We want the cooldown to not show up 
when the buff is active so that they intertwine uh, in space. Because as of right now, if I press this, we're going to see both of them, right? Because we're tracking the active and we're tracking the cooldown. What we need to do is when this is active, I need this one to get removed so that it looked like they're actually like underneath each other, even though they're not. This is a, a little trick. Uh, it's maybe cheesing it a little, but I mean, who cares, right? Cooldown. We're going to add a trigger. We're going to add we're going to add an aura trigger and we're going to track the ID of the aura that we track here. So it's the same number. OK, we just had it here and we make sure that it's a player buff and we make sure it is missing. OK, so this is only going to load if the buff is missing, which means that when you are in the circle, it's not going to load, making it look like they're actually changing place, right? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. So right now it's showing like it's off cooldown. Boom, it's glowing. Let's go in combat and press it. There you go. Nine seconds. Move out. What's the cooldown? Move back in. I get the actual buff duration, right? Move out. Go back in. Move out. Go back in. Okay. So that's actually weird. I didn't knew that, but the buff itself refreshes. Wow. That's actually crazy. So you want to... I wonder if it if it stays on after uh, after it disappears, if you refresh it right before, right? I, I forgot to check that out, but still, okay, doesn't matter. Now we're tracking the duration of the trinket and we're tracking uh, the cooldown of it. So that's pretty simple. Of course, if I remove it, none of that will be tracked. There you go. So now I can go ahead and do that for every single one of my trinket. I could track this one. I could track also... Uh, there is some trinket that are going to do uh, are, are going to do a debuff on the target. It's the same. It's the exact same thing. Let's take this one for example. You go in trigger, and instead of trying a player buff, you track a target debuff. That's exactly the same thing. So, for example, if my blade was a, a trinket proc, I simply wait for it to proc on the target, and I note the spell ID, which is 195552. So what you do is you go in here and you enter the spell ID of your trinket proc on the target and it's going to track. It's very, very simple. So I could enter the ID of the debuff on the target. And if I have target debuff, it's going to work. It's the exact same process. OK, I'm going to put that back to player and buff. Now you can track almost any cooldown. So buff on yourself, stacking buff, ground buff, debuff on the target. You should be able to track every single trinket in the game with those information. Some trinket are going to be a little more complicated. So they're going to, for example, uh, trigger some damaging ability that doesn't track any buff. Those are very hard to track. You need to check for combat log event and all those stuff. And this is going to go in a further uh, down the road video for this series. So we're not going to cover those for now. But most of those trinket, for example... Uh, the Fathom, um, the Dark Moon deck, right? So for agility and strength, uh, it, it just does periodic damage. So you don't really need to track it. It's just passive damage that lands on the target. You could track it, but it's not that useful. But some trinket might be useful. So I haven't checked all trinket right now for every single dungeon, right? But if one of those trinket is doing a mechanic that is not being covered by this video, make sure you let me know in the comment below and I'll make sure to help you out as best as I can. So this is how I'm going to end this video, right? I want you guys to leave a comment on this video because we're going to do a lot more week course tutorial guide. You guys will be able to track as a right trait, racial and all that good stuff. I'll show you how to do everything yourself. You'll be able to load my classes week order and add everything that you need by yourself. OK, so let me know in the comment below what do you want to see next and we'll cover it as simple as that. Make sure you leave a like on this video so I know that you appreciate those video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you come visit me on Twitch because I'm currently recording this video live on Twitch. So if you want to have some private lessons, well, this is the place to come check me out. Make sure you come drop me a follow, say hello. I'll be glad to answer you and to wave back at you. So. This is it for me, guys. Good luck in BFA and with your week orders.